is always a little dank. All right, so let's see here. So it's paused until you press continue. Um, so how do you pause? Um, you can press escape. And I believe escape will pause the game when no. you're in single player. It's like paused overall. How do I change that? You mean, un you want to unpause? Yeah. You press continue. Or have you already and we both have to press continue. Is yeah, that I why? think we both have to. Okay, I'll press it. Do you want to unpause? I've already given a command. War zone active. So I can shift my shift that, and now it'll shift. Can oh, nice, beautiful. Yes, all of those things work. So I selected the factory, and I'm making a first worker. It's a conjurer. They have an M logo. All right, I'm gonna do a little scouting. Uh, press F4. See that toggles on some oh, stuff. Oh shit. Being attacked. Press F4. So what's the point of that? Is that better? You That's leave that on all the time? That's showing you the power grid. Do you always leave that on? Uh, yes. Until, unless I really don't need to see it. It also makes, see those rocks next to the commander? They're flashing now that you pressed up forward. Yes. What does that mean? That's showing you that you could reclaim them. So oh, go they're metal. Over. I'll show you real quick. I'm taking the commander. Uh, I press, uh, you can... Oh, look, I can see this guy because I have the high ground. I saw that uh, guy. You can press... Oops, e. I lost our guys. E is reclaim. Okay. And then I draw a circle around the rocks. Like, you, you drag your... E Here, let me try it. Okay. Commander, E, click. Yep, he's You can draw it. a circle and then... Yeah, that's what I did. Entire... Yeah. He's, I just way, made like, one command. And see, I'm now going to uh, oh. shift W, click here, and now he's going to do this after he's done. Yes. Can you see that you the command that I gave him? It's really cool. Like, you have a, a guy, and you want him to repair your whole army. You can click R, and then drag your, your R click around your whole army, and he'll start repairing them. Anything damaged in that circle, he'll repair eventually. So, dude, I'm just, like, setting him up to do a bunch of shit. This is great. Like he's got a whole like list of commands. Click on the commander. I think you can see his commands. Yeah. Like Anytime he's, it, just he's by just pressing gonna... shift, you can see everyone's commands. Okay, so this game, we're worried about energy as well as mechs. Yes. Can we build energy? I'm. I'm. I see in the bottom, we were where we pressed F4. Yes. I built more energy. I'm pressing X. Solar collect. Building a solar panel. So right, what's when the we have button for build solar energy. It'll over it'll it'll boost our metal extractors because it's in the grid and give us extra metal. That's what that grid is showing you. Okay, I see. So Q, X, Q, and X, S are actually the technically, but they give you a shortcut for max and on W. Yes. So you can do yes. like the circle commands, like you, really. Just to show you that like max is just that important. Mex is gold mines, right? And uh, energy is farms, essentially. No. Energy is its own thing. Okay, everything that costs metal, okay, costs the exact same amount of energy. Energy is just much cheaper. So the, the math is very easy. Whatever it costs in metal, it costs the exact same amount in energy. But if you have, there's some things that take extra energy, right? Like shields or cloaks. There's, there's units that use extra energy. Going in. So this is our, our reaver is going to do a lot more damage. 
Do it. All right. Whoa, the commander goes back to what he was doing? Or did you make him do that? Uh, I'd never even selected the commander. Oh, anything. shit. That's beautiful. Did you A click? Yeah. So he, like, he went back to, like, creating the mechs after he was done fighting by himself. So I didn't tell him to do that, it. They will do that automatically sometimes if um, it's because you A clicked. And A, for someone who can build, they'll sometimes see it as a, the, if they see an enemy to attack or if they see something incomplete to build, they'll just start building it as part of their attack move. We have not been making units. <laughs> yeah, we're about to get swarmed. Okay, so V is special uh, special buildings. So I'm making a radar right now because we've been getting fucked up. Oh shit, look at this on radar. This is bad. No, it's alright. I'm going to retreat the commander right now. Uh, the commander is, can like kind of smash those guys though. Commanders, our commander is really strong. I'm actually going to use the commander. Wait, why is the reaver can like we... half fucked? Oh, I don't know. That's weird, dude. Did he got deconstructed? I guess you can do that. That's weird, did dude. Did we start? Uh, so I think. Did you click E and start reclaiming him? But I he just did like a reclaimed. circle. And he was in so the we circle. Have, we're, we're maxed out on metal and energy right now because we're not spending enough. So there's no point to reclaim while we're maxed out. Oh, I see. That's why I'm building extra stuff. Oh, you're taking control of this shit. It's making it, the learning process very confusing. <laughs> I'm like, did I'm I do doing that? Extras. Whoa, what am I oh, doing? No. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to make the more expensive unit, the Reaver. Can we make another factory, or is that not in the cards? We could. Uh, there's no point, because it would be the same. Whoa, what? What are, you, what are you doing? I just don't... I'm just figuring out this line control. This is crazy. You can draw, like, a wiggly line if you want. You can draw all sorts of crazy It's ridiculous. Shit, <laughs> don't draw a swastika, John. You can... You can spell things. That would actually be really hard to do. <laughs> you can spell things with your giant massive army. So is there, have you ever seen like a penis attack? Somebody just drew a giant penis and marched no, it in? No, I've not, I have not seen that. <laughs> As you should. Um, do you want to know the other line move shit? The crazy shit? What's that? Okay, so just like you can line move, if you want to, if you, you can draw them into a formation, let's say. Let's say this line here on the left. And... Then I've got my my reapers or my reavers are behind, and let's say I want to keep them like that. Mm -hmm. Hold Control and right click, and they will move in the same formation. They'll hold the formation as they walk. So you can draw a formation and then Control click to make them hold that formation on the move. And they'll match the slowest unit speed so that they can maintain it. Wow. And then you can do it like you can shift and then click it again so that you can have different points of move, you know? And then they so they they're still maintaining the formation. Oh shit, we're getting snuck up on. And then there's another one. Um uh, okay. So that's a big one of like hold formation control move. But then the other one is you hold alt as you draw a line. 
and they will follow the line. You see on the left? Mm -hmm. Wait, you gotta do what again? Hold Alt as you draw a line, and they will walk in in form uh, uh, one by one in the formation you drew. So if you're doing a sneak attack like across a canyon, and you don't want them to blob up. You see what's happening? So you just alt right click when you're moving? No, alt draw a line. And they'll follow oh, yeah. the line? They will follow the line to arrive and they'll do it one by one. They won't. Okay, let me try it. So it's really good if you're like doing a bombing run and you want all of your bombers to like not be a big blob or like travel across a thing and be a very like small point, you know? Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. So I'm creating my formation now, and now I can. Shift click? No, control click. It will get a little bit janky if you're not moving on axis from the formation, you know? Like, you can't rotate the formation, so you'll, you'll have to do your own sort of thing with it. It, it. Honestly, you don't use it that much. It's only when you want to, like, cover ground with like artillery at, a, at an exact range sort of thing, you know? Yeah, this is great. You don't want any blobbiness. This is but great. You really awesome. have so much control over it. You just have to micro a little bit. I know, you have crazy control, dude. <laughs> the most control of any strategy game. Yeah, so then you can push in, and so your weak units are, are at the front, and then once you actually hit the enemy, then you can abandon it and make them run in at full speed. So it's like, you have a whole engagement strategy, you know? That was beautiful. Okay, now I'm back in the main screen. I think it'll work now if you, if you start the next map. Starting co-op game, yes. Yeah, you just can't start it while I'm still in the previous menu screen. Command console activated. Um, there's a few more things, okay. War zone active. Trying not to overwhelm you because it's it's a lot, right? But you have the basics now. Do you see my hotkeys? Like I just put these guys on hotkey one and the reavers on hotkey two. Do you see that? Or is, or is our hotkeys situation still separate? Uh, where is Where would I see that? So when I put a hotkey next to all of their icons, the, a little one appears. No, so I don't I see, see that. Which, okay, so our control groups are separate. That's cool. That makes sense, because otherwise you could overwrite. Yeah, I just didn't know, because it's, do it's doing some weird shit, dude. <laughs> I didn't know it worked like this. I haven't done a co-op with shared control. 
I think later there's there's other co-op missions or, or single player missions where you get an ally and I think I just take the role of the ally and have my own army. This is just for the ones where there's not a second army to control. So we're up to three units. This is the riot unit. This is the skirmisher and the glaive. And the glaive is a raider. So they use that terminology with all the factories, right? Every factory has a raider, a skirmisher, and a riot. Um, Z should be select idle worker. How do you cancel a command on a shift queue? Um, I can't remember. I think you can right click it or something. You can just click away from it. Just give them a new command and they'll just stop. So we're low on energy. Like economy is, is really like kind of the main thing in the game. Okay, so X. It's on building solar. Okay, yeah, nice. Still getting good performance. Yeah, it's like locked 60 with adaptive on. That seems fine. Okay. Hmm. I haven't seen any drops at least. It's locking to 60? I put adaptive on and I'm still hitting like 90. Well, because you're on 144 hertz monitor. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that would do it. That's kind of wasted. There's like, you don't really get benefit from more frames than zero pip. Whoops. can just like climb over the goddamn rocks kind of slowly but it's beautiful okay so these are the, the new unit the ronin they uh are anti-heavies they're firing these rockets So 
They're good against the commander, but they're bad against, like, blades. About to kill the commander. Nice. making oh, four Ronins. Yeah, we don't have production. It's kind of a problem. Whoops, we both forgot. <laughs> kill their commander though so I think we're okay I'm building a radar yep 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 and it's nice so the solar panels have more health they can kind of shield your mechs oops I didn't mean to do that uh, it's all good killed all my commands no it's all fine I had a, I had a whole queue yeah, well, you gotta redo those keys. So Another thing you can do is, even though, so you have a factory queue, okay? You see, there's a different letter associated to make every unit. Q-W-E-R right now. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to throw a unit at the front of the queue, right? If you would say, uh, so I still want to keep making my, like, 12 Reavers, but I need a build unit right now, a constructor. You can press Alt-Q. And it'll, if you press Alt while clicking or pressing the key for whatever unit, it'll throw a single one of them at the front of the queue. Even if you have uh, infinite build on. Okay. So if you really quickly know that you just need one worker, and this happens all the time, you can press Alt Q to select factory and then Alt Q again to create one extra worker and not disrupt any of your other Q, okay? Alt Q, Alt Q. Make one worker. So wait, Alt always, uh... Alt, when building a unit at a factory, Alt makes one unit at the front of the queue. Oh, so you're just like, oh, damn, I need a worker, but I don't want to cancel all my I don't want to just I, I don't I want to keep making infinite glaves on repeat right but I'm gonna I gonna interrupt it's like an interject here's a priority yes. order priority interjection as a one-off you can do it multiple times you can be like you know what as a one-off I want three workers like alt Q alt Q alt Q you can do that with any unit like you know what actually right now I need a Ronin in my glaives I need a Ronin right now Right, and just press thrown in is Alt E.
So it's really good to have like a baseline of like units to make on repeat, and then you interject your other ones. So here's what I'm doing now, because we have extra metal, I am throwing, I'm, I'm taking our construction bots and putting them by the factory so they're assisting it and spending extra to make units faster. So we're, at, we're gonna try to spend all this shit. Uh, try to get in the habit of almost always doing a line line move. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. We haven't even gotten into force fire. You can auto fire. This is great. You see how <laughs> our buildings are shielding our turrets and they're having a really tough time getting to the <laughs> Doing, they're way more effective in this configuration. So attack move lines are like not as effective for some reason? They will, so it's it's just like, see when like you press shift and you can see what all the moves are? It's just like individually giving them all that, that order. Here's the thing, they have auto skirmish on. What, what, what do you mean not as effective? Oh, I thought that's what you were saying, that like attack moves like that. Here's the thing. So they have an automatic routine of move. They have a maneuver move state on by default. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I still have that's to turn why... the audio down a little more because it's so ridiculously loud in this game. You'll see like over here. Maybe it's just music. Uh, you see these Ronin? Turn off the music. The music gets old fast. Um, All right. Music okay, soft. you'll this see that these units, I'm not telling them to do their movement. They're auto-maneuvering. Okay? Mm -hmm. Especially, like, the Ronin. They will fire, and then they'll immediately back up until they can fire again. Like, see this Ronin? It's not, a, it's not an attacking unit, but... Well, so he's just on outside of range. Yeah, that's great. But let's say, I'll say, uh... Attack move. No, he doesn't want to do it. Okay, so he's just a natural counter because his range is slightly larger than this turrets. Don't send these guys in. Why not? Because they will take damage while the Ronin. But it was gonna be fucking fun to watch. <laughs> um, okay, but they will auto maneuver. Right. You'll see it especially when Ronin start fighting other units. Okay, so like this glaive. The Ronin, see, he backs up as soon as he fires, and now he's on the run automatically. Right? I've given him none of these commands. I don't know if you were, but don't like, don't even touch it. Just let him do his thing. I'm not touching. And you'll see. The Ronin's just dancing around by himself. He auto dances. Yes. What? You can turn it off, but they have basic AI. They know. See, he's a slow firing, and he knows that the glaive is a short range unit and is faster than him. So he knows he's most effective firing on the retreat. Okay. But he wants he wants maximum distance and the glaive wants short distance. So he will automatically fire. Uh, he'll get into range and then while he's reloading, he will run backwards. There's a lot of units that have characteristics like this, especially like artillery. Artillery, if they're being chased, they will automatically retreat while firing. Okay. It's a big it's a big part of the game. The auto maneuver. Where are Sometimes our you want constructors? Off. You can press Z. So I put them all on this factory down here. Like three of them are repairing the factory. Oh shit. But you can you can press Alt Q, Alt Q. Let's make let's make a few extras. I'm 
And then you can press Z, we'll select an idle constructor. Also in the bottom left, it'll show you how many idle constructors you have, and you can click on bottom left to cycle through them. saying about the maneuver. So when they get um, okay, hang on one second. They, when they get their red line, that's when you know they're in an engage range. The red line means that's what they're targeting. They're targeting. So they the targeted the before they were actually even hitting it in line. Like, I oh. know. It just means that that yeah, that that's their the unit that they're going to engage with, and they're going to maneuver based on what unit they're targeting, right? They don't have to be in range to be targeting it. So what I was saying about attack move isn't always good. Attack move will let your units maneuver on their own. But if you just right click and just give them a move command, they won't maneuver. They will just follow your move command exactly. Okay. So what I really want to do is like make them march like ants. Look at this. This is glorious. They're not effective like that. They're very effective because now I can do this. Boom! Look at that! Line them up! Give them a, you can just give them a line command and then make them do that. But they won't be in the line already, so they're kind of like all getting there at the wrong time. They take the shortest distance to get into your, your line. Alright. So are we about to do a, a wall of death? Oh yeah, baby. I'm taking these ones over here. Through. You can take the rest. Whoa! Going in. You press shift to see how the movement. This is beautiful. So because it's not, I didn't you do an attack command. They're not going to maneuver around this. If, if it was attack move, they would have stopped as soon as they got in, in vision and stood still and fired. But because they have a move command. But so they're when they're moving, moving they'll auto attack move. even if they don't have an attack command? Yes, they will automatically attack without an attack command unless you told them to hold fire. They'll always attack. Huh. That's really good. But they 1v1 won't available. They'll do exactly what, what does that mean? That means matchmaker has a has a match available. You could click it and you would it, it guarantees you that someone is in your matchmaking range so you can play right now. Someone's in queue waiting for a match and it tells you that you're in their matchmaker range. So it would be instant. Zero K is the Chad game. Jesus Christ. The Chad game? It's like incel talk. Was this on Twitch? No, it's in the chat for Zero oh. K. <laughs> it's the Chad game. Oh, what? I see. Oh, Lord. Lordy. Oh, is there a tournament today? Yeah, it looks like there is. 131 players on. Google Frog! So, Gata. Gata is the best. Gode. Gota? Yeah. I think you pronounce it Gota. Oh, what's going to happen to my pumpkins? Well, what's going to happen to my pumpkins? Oh, yeah. All right, and now you have a choice if you're going to go up or to the right. So that's basically those first three levels are, are the tutorial. And now it's like the campaign proper. Well, what's going to happen to my pumpkins? You want to do one more? Oh, yeah. Of course. I told you this game is legendary. Is there is there not a Do you want to use Signet or Myra? I don't care. I think doing this might have erased my single player progress. That's interesting. 
Yeah, that that seems like a glitch. Are you sure though? Because you'd have to leave our but, shared campaign. I know. Bef when I restarted the game before I joined your party, I went to campaign and it only showed those three levels. Oh no! Well, I'm sure and it's like, probably uh, like something you can just edit in the registry to unlock them. It's yeah. It's probably just a file. or not registry, but in like in. Uh, yeah, I just have to rename my old one as as the original, probably. Okay, so. Yeah, we get a new factory, I believe. Wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me try this. Now it's on infinite glaives, right? Yes. That's all we need. So that's our base. Um, we'll send the glaives like here. And then, let's see. Commander is going to start making some mechs. Okay, so we have a new unit. It's an EMP bomb. And we have a new turret, which is the picket missile. Okay. Okay, I'm going to press continue. Okay. War zone active. <laughs> War zone active. Pretty good shit. All right, I'd like to control like as much of the economy as possible if you want to control the fighting. Okay. I'm gonna send That's this what worker I'm trying over to, learn. to build I, mechs. The fighting makes sense to me. I'm still trying to learn like what to, like how to control. This thing. Okay, so EMP I can Alt click yeah. to create conjurers, right? Or Alt Q. Yes. Because we Q want some... is always the, your your constructor on all factories. Q is reserved for the construction bot. So you've already same... got conjurers doing good shit. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna make this conjurer make some more solar. That's XS. This is gonna be great, We're making tons of solar. I don't know if this is too fast for solar. Oh, our radar is getting shit on by long range. Whoa, you're running circles around this. What is this? Impaired? It's an artillery. They sent it in undefended, so I, I, I did see. my thing. I'm going to make the commander... I was gonna make him uh, make some missile turrets. Yeah, do your thing. Oh no, the co there's enemy commanders on the plateau. Oh shit. I'm gonna make a missile turret as well. Shit. Alright, glaives are going in to scout a little bit. I need one over here. So keep in mind where the shimmer is, where we have already have radar coverage. So we can already see a lot. No. <laughs> You're blowing it. <laughs> this is great. I'm blowing up shit. Radar. Boom. Not so powerful without your goddamn radar, uh, are, are you? We are. We have we have big problems over here. We got no problems. Oh, shit. We have problems. All right. We're bringing the glaives back in. I took out their radar down here. That's got to be worth something. It's worth nearly nothing. All right, we're going up on the plateau with our glaives. I don't know. We're we're about to die. About to die. Oh no! All Back right, come on, glaives. I don't know. I don't know if you're seeing this. I'm not seeing it enough. Okay, I stunned one. Glavies to the rescue, baby. These things are fast. These are like boom bots. 
or whatever you want to call them, those bots. Little foot soldiers. Uh, what? Oh, no, that commander will crush all that the whole army oh, right no. now. <laughs> Run away. He's too strong. Glaives! Units. All the single glaives. All okay. the okay. single glaives. So he's, he's going up against the towers, which is good. We might be able to kill him. It's a tough call. Maybe if we send all the glaives. Okay, yeah, I like it. He's hurt. He's hurt. We're going to get... And we're, you want to spread? Here we go. Oh, he has a jump. Got him. All the single nice. glavies. I love it. I fucking smacked him. Smacked him upside the head. With that superior tactical coordination. Oh god. Input we, got, fight. we got bad shit coming in the bottom. Oh no! Glavies come back! Great gla <laughs> the glaives are not so those are well. Those are riots. Riots are very good against glaives. They do splash, and so they're going to crush the whole army if you're not spread out. There you go. Glaives unite. Alright, we're, we're moving the choke point to here, and then we need... So is the Conjurer going to heal himself it. eventually? Yes, all units heal themselves eventually. We have a lot of solar up here. There's just so many options in this game, it's completely overwhelming. I know. I, I haven't kind even of the unlocked of everything any yet. So the co we just need to spend... We have more resources than we're spending, so I'm making the commander and some other stuff... Just assist the factory. Spend more. We need some items. conjurers down in this area of the map down yeah. here. Yeah, I just press. I just alt queued. At least we took out that artillery early. That was gonna uh -oh. crush us. So like I said, this is like when the campaign starts proper. Like this is the first like challenge. Like the game no longer just wants you to win and learn. It's, it wants to like fucking kill you now. <laughs> So are we doing good on solar, or do we need more now? How do I tell? In the upper uh, middle, I, mean, I see you that. See the yellow. I don't. Understand. You want? Um, is sh is so a good as you, a full bar good? If you have more energy income than metal income, you are okay. But if you want to get even more metal income, you can supercharge your energy and be even better what is happening like uh, right here why is this glowing this area is glowing because okay it glows a different color that's where the commander died that's a reclaimable metal from the commander that's worth a lot oh we got incoming <laughs> oh shit it's cool we got an, we got an army this time Yeah, you see how he's being uh, reclaimed now? See, he drops like 500 metal because he's the commander. This is we're starting to we're starting to win the map. This is good. Remember the uh, the circle with the line through it. Those are the Ronin. Those are rocket launchers. They're longer range and they're more of anti-heavy. So you want to keep them in the back. They're That's also what I've expensive. been doing. You see that formation? No, I know it's good. I'm just, I'm just I'm reiterating. Clean it up, baby. Now you're gonna kill everyone. No, I blew it. Our I glavies. shouldn't have even run them in. All the single glavies. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. It's important to like have a consideration for your Ronin whether you're giving them attack move or straight move because their maneuver is way different than their walk in a straight line. 
Some things maneuvering is more important than others. Hmm. Oh god, these units are not good at this. Yeah, the glaives are get cru so what the, the things they're running around, those are vehicles. Those are scorchers. Mm -hmm. And they are super effective against glaives. So glaives are kind of weak here because they're this is your learn how about counters level. About like you could have beat the last three levels with glaives, and now we're gonna punish you if you are still relying on glaives. All right, so we have everything on repeat, so whatever you add to the queue is just like, yeah. Yeah, I intentionally made this, the, the this is the configuration I intended to make. Three glaives, one Ronin, one Reaver. That's a, that's a balanced composition. And once it's balanced, every new unit I'll hold alt to, to create so that it doesn't affect her. But yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, this game thought of everything. That is pretty good. Okay, control Z while you have a unit selected will we'll select every type of that unit. If you want one giant mass. Here's the so other thing, though. Alt Q selects your factories, and then Alt Q interjects one. So yes. The next. So it's very fast to interject one from any point in your in your process. A big fight going on. So then this is nice. So so right down here, right at the bottom, I'm sending in the Ronin. To just do just with one Ronin, I'm pestering, right? I'm 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 doing the range game. So he just enters range to fire one rocket, and then reloads out of range, and then enters range just to fire one rocket. You can just cheese down their towers like that. Here we go. Yeah, How do you take uh, unselect? Just click on the map left. Click away. So I can always see every command uh, like on the map by holding shift. Yes, and that's true of all of your allies when you get into multiplayer as well. You can see every command. Also, shift makes your zoom different. Yes, You zoom it's in faster. faster. And then control makes your tilt adjust. What do you mean? Hold control and use your mouse wheel. Oh, shit. <laughs> <gasps> That's when it's like, oh my god. It's hard to like move around though. Yeah, you generally don't want to do it. <laughs> Just stick with default. Got him choked out. Look at this shit. Move it in, baby.
Boom Shakalka. Boom Shakalka, baby. Boom Shakalka, baby. Wah, 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 wah.